Policing is too big for party politics. Those are the words of Derek Webley, the chairman of the West Midlands Police Authority, who a short time ago announced that he's going to stand as an independent candidate for the job of police crime commissioner. Well, our special correspondent, Peter Wilson, has this report. A slow walk, but he intends to run. Derek Webley, the man currently in charge of the soon-to-be-replaced West Midlands Police Authority, today made clear his intention to stand for election as the Police Crime Commissioner, a role that last year he criticised as a bad mix of politics and policing. The key concern was that this chain risked the introduction of direct politics into policing. I believe that those concerns remain but the reality is that our parliament has decided that from the 15th of November 2012 we will have directly elected police and crime commissioners. Derek Webley was the first independent to chair the police authority. He's also the first African Caribbean to chair any police authority in the country. But why does he want to be a crime commissioner? For me, there are some real concerns that the focus is all around the political party representation. What I am not saying are the individuals involved are not individuals who are good people. Of course they are. I feel that they will be driven by party concerns as opposed to the people of the West Midlands concerns. Derek Webley says he's worried because more than a third of the electorate have said that they don't even know that an election is planned for this November. But his standing means that it will be big news here in the West Midlands. Peter Wilson for BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. And you can see a full list of the police and crime commissioner candidates on the BBC Birmingham website. Hundreds of people